I I brought up the the clubhouse thing actually in Elon um, because I just wanted to uh, get your thoughts about something he's said a few times to me to me and in, in general is that he's under a huge amount of stress and I'm thinking of st- doing a startup now and kind of thinking about all of this because uh, I you know I enjoy podcasts I enjoy science but he says that his life is basically hell <laughs> it's oh, yeah. very difficult that he looks happy but he's probably very good at he's masking. fulfilled mm-hmm. he's fulfilled but the stress levels the constant fires that he has to put out and he says that most people wouldn't want to be me and that basically the reason he does what he does is because there's probably something wrong with him like it's not a he can't help it but do that it's kind of beautiful in a kind of russian <laughs> masochistic way well i i just wonder the stress i mean i'm sure you can you can imagine the kind of stress he's under because so it's, it's running three plus companies oh. and there's constant like he he says that you know every single meeting is a is not about like should we install a coffee maker in the in the in the kitchen it's like you know this rocket is going to blow up and i don't we're all fucked i don't know what to do and we have to you have to fix you have to real fix problems. a real like problems. big problems that are and like how do you uh oh yeah how do you deal with that what do you think about that kind of life one one is there a way to go, you know walk through that fire and two should you should you walk through that fire well i mean without knowing i've never met elon but certainly we have common friends in you and in um other people that uh he worked with long ago in the paypal days um all of whom speak very highly of him and show uh express immense admiration for the number of things that he can maintain i think it's fair to say that he accomplishes more before 9 a.m than most people do in in a decade it's clear and that what he does would dissolve most people into a puddle of tears mostly because of this whole thing uh about the brain working hard equates to thinking about duration path and outcome and anticipating outcomes given a b c or d a lot of very scripted linear thinking and prediction and that is hard it's stressful it requires intense neurochemical output and he's doing that for multiple projects so Presumably he's buffered himself from the coffee maker issues and the little tiny issues, but he is himself, unless there's something I don't know, he's walking around in a biological system. He is. <laughs> yes. He, that's, uh, allegedly, yes. Yeah, allegedly. So, um, and I don't want to reveal too much here, but I have a, a common um, a coworker and colleague through some contract work I do that uh, what I can tell you is that he's accessing the best resources in terms of how to optimize his biology mm-hmm. and he's thinking about that not just for himself but for all of Neuralink because I think I'm not trying to dodge the question but I think there's the there's the scale of the individual but then there's the companies that he's creating and you've got people there that you could imagine if they're working at 10% better capacity or can focus 5% better for 20% of the day, you're looking at an enormous increase in productivity and a, and a reduction in the time to reach goals, which will reduce the amount of stress presumably on Elon, unless he goes and starts another endeavor. Right. So I think it's certainly not healthy for most people. It seems to be where he gets his dopamine hits. I'm also really struck by the fact that he has a family and he has, you know, he maintain, he's got kids growing up and a relationship and all that. So it's super impressive. I think that, um, I don't know, how old is Elon? He's 40, I mean, pushing 50, I think 48. So even more impressive. 49. Right? Because, it, you know, many people who've been at exceedingly high output for a decade or more don't do well. Their system breaks down. Yes. Well, this is what he was saying. He uh, actually, the, uh, I mean, I don't listen to all, all of his interviews, but on that live on the clubhouse, he mentioned that he was kind of worried. It's interesting. He was worried that like sometimes he, what I think he said is I'm worried that some 
at some point my brain is just going to fail because of the amount of load it's under. Like how much I have to think through throughout the day. Like how many like problems you have to think through. Like, you know, it's like puzzles. It's yeah. constant puzzle solving. I would be concerned about taking somebody who's in that regime and suddenly putting them into a regime where they don't have enough to bite down into. It's like my bulldog Costello, he's happiest when chewing and tugging yeah. with that big old neck of his, and he is just not gonna become a retriever. He's not gonna, that he does well and gets his dopamine hits from chewing and pulling. Yeah. And it, it seems like Elon has ended up where he is by way of his natural leanings. I, unless there's a, a backstory that's, um, trauma-based or something and I don't even begin to think that there is it seems that he has he's one of those rare individuals in history that has an immense drive to create in all these different domains I'm just saying the obvious here yeah but it seems like that's what makes him tick 